Well, I think Cobra Post is a very lively, very disruptionist force in Indian journalism. I think it takes investigative journalism into areas where conventional media doesn't go. I myself am not a great supporter of sting operations. I believe sting operations are not uh, the, uh, the right uh, instruments for a journalist. Uh, I believe they can become entrapment. I believe it can uh, distort reality. But on the other hand, I think Cobra Post has done some exposés that have really blown the lid of um, some things that are happening in India which conventional media simply doesn't go towards and Anirudh is the original gonzo journalist he goes where no man goes or no woman goes and uh, I think he is um, he brings his his personality to Cobra Post which is a very disruptionist very irreverent and uh, something that is marked by raw courage so when you think about Cobra Post you think very much of the Lone Ranger of a very courageous voice, a very disruptionist voice, a very irreverent voice, uh, but I think a very necessary voice for the Indian media, which is generally dominated by a kind of consensus. That uh, why should Cobra Post be non-profit? I think if it launches itself as a magazine or as a newspaper, I'm not sure how you can actually get revenue on the net because right now you are almost entirely on the net. Uh, but um, I think that if Cobra Post were to venture into uh, a magazine format or a or a net format or a net format which is uh, linked to revenue streams i'm sure it could actually work out why not i think there are a lot of people out there who are tired as i say of the consensus prevailing in the indian media and who are looking for reality and looking for stories that are being done uh, which are not finding any space in in conventional media at all so i think there would be a lot of takers for that there would be patrons for that so why not you should i think try to do it as a kind of a uh, as a kind of a exercise that brings in revenue Cobra Post announces a press conference, you never know what it's going to come up with next. So I think Cobra Post is a surprise a minute, it's a scoop a minute. The voice that Cobra Post represents, which is a very, uh, which, is a, which is a voice of courage, which is a voice of, um, you know, taking risks, which is a voice of going, as I said, where no one goes before. I think that's a good voice to have within the armory of the Indian press.